this is Shelley Stern Grage, and I'd like to welcome you to Civic Chat, Networking Our Neighborhoods. Our guest today is Eric Weinheimer of the Donors Forum. Eric, it is so great to have you here today. Thanks for inviting me. Well, it's our pleasure. So let's tell everybody a bit about the Donors Forum and the great work you're doing there. Well, Donors Forum, Shelley, is really a jewel in our city. It is. It, it, it's been around for 40 years, and uh, we are a very unique organization because we're the only regional association in the country that brings together grant makers, philanthropy, nonprofits, and their advisors in this integrated membership model. To put that in context, there are 30 associations for grant makers around the country, mm -hmm. and there's 45 state associations for nonprofits, and they're very siloed. Right. Only here in Chicago, bring and we're them bringing them all together. Right. That's and great. And it really is great because it gives us a platform from which we can start to build an environment and do it collaboratively with each other so that anyone or any organization that's about social impact, that they can do their best work and they can achieve their missions. So what types of uh, resources and services does the Donors Forum provide? We have 1,100 members and there's 800 nonprofits, 175 foundations and the rest advisors. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, doing a lot in regarding advocacy mm -hmm. for philanthropy as well as for the nonprofits. We do a lot of capacity building and training for those organizations. And we're also doing a lot of, of building the sector. Right. You know, to create a, a, an environment so that people uh, can attract investment to mm -hmm. their organizations, that they can uh, attract top talent to their organizations, right. and that they can work in a, in a community where they can get things done. So that's a really important point that I want to drill down on a little bit. You talked about advocacy and then building the sector. Mm -hmm. And I know you do some great work, obviously, in Springfield. There's some huge budget cuts coming, and our neighborhoods yet need so much in the way of resources. What kind of work, how do you work both ends of that, both the advocacy and then getting the resources in the neighborhoods? So many of our nonprofits are being just negatively affected by the budget cuts mm -hmm. and they're really challenged and so there's two things that we need to do number one is to advocate on their behalf mm -hmm. to speak to legislators be the voice, be the voice for right. them and not just hey support our sector because it's the right thing to do no 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 it's about the value the tremendous value that we provide mm -hmm. not only the social value but the economic value to our state right. and so if you're going to cut the services that we provide in cutting our funding then it's going to increase costs in other areas. Okay, right. And so we really need to be very clear and articulate what our value proposition is. And secondly, we also need to acknowledge that there will be cuts. Right. There will be cuts. We have to get more efficient. We have to get more efficient. And so we need to equip our members mm -hmm. to be able to attract investment from other places, whether it be increasing individual giving. We started an individual giving campaign last year mm -hmm. called I'll Give Big and it was very successful and we did it around Giving Tuesday this year we're going to expand it uh, over a number of months right. and so we're very excited about that but ha equipping our nonprofit members to build their capacity to attract investment mm -hmm. to make up for the loss in state funding. So let's talk a little bit about social impact you brought that up briefly and this is a I'll call it a movement mm -hmm. uh, but it has structure around it. Uh, can you kind of give uh, your view regarding social impact and where the Donors Forum will be playing a bigger role? Donors Forum has historically worked with nonprofits and philanthropy and, and their advisors, and it's mm -hmm. a model that's worked very, very well. But as you know, Donors Forum is going through a transformation. Huge transformation. Huge, we'll get to that. Yes, well, I'm excited. I'm not about, letting you go until I, we talk about exactly, that. Exactly. I'm very excited, as you can tell. And I think, you know, the world is changing right underneath our feet, mm -hmm. and people are increasingly sector agnostic. Mm -hmm. They don't care if it's a nonprofit or a for-profit. What they care about is, is it an organization? Is it a mission mm -hmm. that is making change in the world, right. social change right. in the world? And so this notion of a nonprofit, it's quite frankly, it's an outdated uh, model. Uh, An outdated term. And it's an outdated term. Right. You know, as I've, I've said, we're the, you know, nonprofits are the only sector that uh, define themselves by what they're not, <laughs> you know? And so it, it, it really doesn't uh, define the, the sector for its tremendous value and its contribution to our society and to our economy. Mm -hmm. And so this notion of social impact doesn't matter what your tax status is, but we have so many of these hybrid organizations emerging, these B corporations and social enterprises that are about financial sustainability and right. financial gain, but they're also, they, in their DNA, they have uh, social impact uh, in their mission. 
That's terrific. So t let's talk about transformation. Mm -hmm. You've been at the Donors Forum how long now? Uh, a little over nine months. Nine months, okay. Mm -hmm. So giving birth, here we go. Yes. <laughs> so, so talk to us a little bit about some of the new approaches that you're taking and the new initiatives that you're undertaking. One of the things that we're very conscious of is you know, we need to build off of the great work that Donors Forum has done over the past 40 great years. Great legacy. Uh, great legacy. Great bringing people together, thought leadership, sharing best practices. We need to move that, uh, all that great work and build on that, but we need to move it into uh, action. Mm -hmm. So we really need to mobilize our very, quite frankly, influential and mm -hmm. diverse membership we need to move them and mobilize them into action around advocacy, as mm -hmm. we discussed, around special projects like increasing individual giving, around working with the government to streamline contracts so that things are much easier to, to not only right. get money but report uh, how they use that money to the state. Also, we're looking at things like how do we promote social enterprise? Right. So we have working groups around specific ish issues like promoting social enterprise and others. Um, these these cross-sector working groups that are identifying long-term goals, measurable, um, time-sensitive, specific goals of if we're going to promote social enterprise or increase individual giving or advocate mm -hmm. for state funding, what's the long-term goal over the next five years? What's the short-term goal over the next year? Right, specific. Right. And then we all can be galvanized around that goal and build project plans so that we can get uh, achieve our goals but that it really makes a difference for our members and so that they then can do their work in communities and and really further their missions. I think that's terrific and, and also you've clearly brought this incredible sense of energy mm -hmm. and sense of urgency so um, we really congratulate you on the great work that's going on at the Donors Forum. If people want to learn more about the Donors Forum and maybe some of the events or programs that you have can you let them know how to get in touch with you? Absolutely. We'd love to have you reach out to us at www.donorsforum.org, also through Twitter, uh, at Donors Forum. And we would also love for you to attend our June 18th luncheon. It's going to be at the Sheridan Hotel. It's going to be a fabulous luncheon featuring a woman named Liz Lerman, uh, who is going to teach us about collaboration, and she's going to do it in a very experiential way. So it's going to be a very uh, unique uh, luncheon, and we would love to have you join us. Eric, thank you so much for coming today. Thanks for the great work that's going on at the Donors Forum. We look forward to talking to you again. Thanks so much, Shelley. My pleasure.